Today I would like to show you my cabinet that I built myself, or actually I built together with your mom, who did a lot. <laughs> you know those IKEA uh, drawers? So they have this, you know, you've probably known these, you know, the mm -hmm. ones with all the all the small drawers. So what I just did was turn them around and I went to the thrift shop and bought like this huge amount of bronze um, knobs and I thought like that way is a good way to make it a bit more unique and special. So that's, <laughs> yeah, what I did for that thing. But let me show you. So um, this drawer is actually one of my favorite drawers because it has this huge, I'll try to show you, um, ladder box. Thank you. Nice pins. Wait, I'll put this one out. So these are just, um, yeah, little small cute paintings. I got them from the mother of your own actually, and I thought they were adorable. So, <laughs> and here's no another one. Then the other thing was that I had this giant, um, this other kind of water box, and I thought it would be so cool to make that into a drawer. You can take it all out. <laughs> so I was showing you. Oh, I'll close it here. Probably won't show you every single drawer because it will take a lot of time. Um, but one of the cool things is what I did is I went to place for my paint, which I have now. <laughs> But what I wanted to do is also find an easy way to um, transport it. So maybe if I want to work in a different place, then I can very easily take my paint out. And um, so I move it. So actually, I made it in a way that you can take this whole thing out. Some um, fabrics and stuff for sewing. Basically, like a lot of these are for sewing. And then here I have some different paints. So the whole cabinet is built with creative materials, so basically it's only things like paints and cardboard and glitters and anything that makes me go like, ah yes, I want to create whenever I pull open a drawer. Um, and yeah, and I also think that's quite important to have a space that, you know, yeah, that really gives an impulse to your creativity and makes you go feel inspired whenever you open it, which was in a way what this cabinet is also doing. All drawer. <laughs> And only light bulbs. <laughs> so I'm also, well, I wouldn't call myself a hoarder, but I do have this thing for, I don't know, like tiny collections of things that I feel like, oh, I can make something pretty inside, like either, I don't know, a snow globe or whatever. This one is actually one of my favorite drawers. I'll show you why. I call it my experiment drawer. <laughs> and so it has all these things like, I don't know, syringes, but also. So here are some seeds uh, for the uh, Mimosa pudica, the touch sensitive plant. Oh. So I have some seeds for that. <laughs> and then for example, I have some, this is like a tiny bit of um, shaped memory wire. It's just like some, um, uh, how do you say, some metal wire, but it has some cool characteristics when you put it on, um, uh, put some electricity on it because my study was industrial design so I built all these prototypes and it will just transform its shape and you can do really cool stuff with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this I love, I don't know, it's just, I don't even use it that often but it's just, I don't know, I feel like I'm already exploring if I, if I see it. Um, more seeds, this is conductive wire, so again like when I was building prototypes, I also had these projects about um, using electricity and fabric. So you can imagine maybe having a dress with cool applications. And actually, so I could sew this in a dress. And for example, if I had a LED, a little light here and something, some switch here, then I could just make it, um, make it go on by using this wire without it feeling like, a, yeah, like this heavy electric wire. So it's just built with all these like, little curiosities and things that um, yeah make me want to feel <laughs> like I want to explore and build stuff and uh. so here's another like secret well it's not that secret but a little bit <laughs> um, secret bulb and then so here is my huge um, I won't take it out completely because it's a bit stuff but <laughs> um, so a huge map 
where I call a folder where I keep all my drawings in. And as you can see here, so you have this top uh, part of the drawer that goes all the way, but then these smaller drawers go only to here, which also means that I have a space at the other side. <laughs> I don't know if I... I'll show you. So here I have some map. Again, some... I don't know. So here I keep some other... Um, just some papers and things. Here are just some ribbons, polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. This was my creative cabinet. I hope you like peeking inside and seeing what kind of materials and stuff I have stuffed in there. So see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>